Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here to beat up Misty. Also, if you hear that noise, it is the fan. I think as I mentioned before, I'm in the one spot in the entire house that gets absolutely no, no air conditioning whatsoever. I have, but thankfully my sister brought in a fan for me that they usually use for the dogs, but the dogs didn't need it, so I got to use it. So I get to actually be cool. Um, it is also super loud. But I take this over being in over 100 degrees heat in the middle of the night and I'm so tired. If it wasn't for this fan, I would not feel good to record a whole bunch today. So I'm just saying, the, the noise is here to stay, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, that's right. I can't fight Misty because she's talking to her damn boyfriend. Alright, let's go ruin someone's date. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to try and ruin Misty's date. Alright, let's do it. Hope everyone's uh, feeling okay right now. Uh, I'm doing okay, all things considered. You know, the world still is what it is, but we press on forward. And we press on forward by fighting Misty. Now let's see. Uh, it was finally brought to me. I totally have a unit that beats Brock. It's Jolene. Jolene completely wrecks Brock's day. So... Hmm. You know what? Now I kind of don't want to fight Misty. Because now if I think about it, I have to go to the power plant. And I want to get Jatini with the super rod. And I want to train Jatini. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to the power plant, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the power plant. People shouldn't leave any litter behind. You're right. What is your name? Woman. Pick Nick. Okay, head now. Nidorina, huh? That's not too bad. I think Raiders got it, man. Raiders doesn't need anyone to come pick up his messes anymore. No, he doesn't. He's a big, strong boy. Raiders, you finally did it. You grew up. I'm proud of you. Look how strong you are. Almost one-shotting a Nidorina. Stomp. Stomp the yard on him. Yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, I think we're almost in a territory where we don't have to worry about um, getting one shot. Never mind. Hello. Fear everything. Get Fisto. Yeah, he should be able to take down this Raichu, no problem. Aw, oh, man, I love this Raichu sprite. I always thought it was a shame that they established so early on that Pikachu would forever be a Pikachu in Pokemon. Because wouldn't it have been better if Raichu was the mascot? Isn't Raichu such a cooler looking dude compared to Pikachu? Maybe it's just me. I always felt that Raichu was pretty bomb looking. And imagine a world where we got to experience Lucha Raichu. And we got to have Lucha Pikachu. But at the same point, you could also have Lucha Pichu. What I'm saying is that bring in all the evolutionary line of Pikachu. Stop making it just Pikachu. I'm basically asking the impossible, because no one at the Pokemon Company would ever do that. Like, can you even evolve the Pikachu and Let's Go Pikachu? I want to say no. You can evolve the Eevee and Let's Go Eevee, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think you can either. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, it's you three. How dare you stand where he stood once. Raiders, you're gonna need to take down this punk. Poochie, guys, I believe you called him. That's not how you pronounce his name, it's the, the bad guy from Jojo Part 6. Uh, which he said we should be the name of a diglet if we ever catch it, because it fits with the theming of, uh, <laughs> of the Jojo-verse. Since we already have Crocodio and all that. Primate! Oh, we can take down Primate, no real problem, I think. Poor Primate. Cut down in the prime of his life. The prime ape of his life. Mm. Oh, he's raging at me. Alright. Unfortunately, rage... I The build-up for rage is so slow. It's a shame, too, because I really like the idea of the move, but it just never worked out in actuality, because Pokemon just kill you too quick before it has any chance to ramp up. Oh, yeah, Raiders 37. Holy Wrath. I don't like how oddly humanoid Polyrath looks, by the way. Look at him. Look at his, like, sick body. It's disgusting, honestly. 
Because he looks kind of like... I don't know. He looks very uncomfortable to me. I don't know. Something about him. Submission. That's just gross. I don't like you, Polyrath. I'm gonna kill you now. Jolene. Kill him. Oh, we should have used the Giga Drain. He doesn't deserve the suck. Put that on the billboard. What I have to say. Put it on a billboard. Polyrath does not deserve the suck. Wokey 2020. I am the arbiter of who does and does not deserve the suck. Camper said. I mean, she only has like five sucks. She's not like when she was a young, uh, a young oddish trying to get her way across the world. Her suck is much more powerful now. It can bend entire nations to as well. So she has to be very careful about the five she chooses to show it to. And use it on, specifically. This man came to explore my rock tunnel, I think is what he just said to me. No. Hello, Dean. Golduck. Hello, Golduck. I'm pretty sure Raiders got it, right? Just use Stomp. What's it gonna do? Nothing. Nada. As the Spanish like to say. I'm gonna use Whirlpool just in case he tries to disable me again. It's not gonna do any damage because it's a bad move. Screech! Nice. Man, do I have to tell you, I love this air right now. You guys can hear it, but it really does feel really nice. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. There's so, I hate, I, I, like, I can't explain enough how much I hate my current living situation. Because it's barely, it's, ba it's basically a surviving situation as far as I'm concerned. And it's not living till I have an actual house again. Um, but it's just so... Like, you don't know how bad... Like, one time... Um, ooh, Sandslash. This could be a threat, but I'm gonna hope that Surf takes him out in one hit. And if he doesn't, then we're gonna get slashed to death. Um, one, for one summer in the old house, we had no air conditioning, and we were never gonna do it again. We had to sleep together in the coldest part of the room, which was the living room, and we were all just, like, huddled together, trying to absorb the coolness of the floor because no one in their rooms had any like form of like ability to breathe it was like suffocating how hot how hot it was oh so bad let me see is this a different route from the route up ahead route nine yes yes it is so i'm gonna see if i can get your pokemon here it was just so uncomfortable and bad i hate the heat so much oh eradicate we already have a mouse so we don't need you a level 15 eradicate a powerful ass radicate. Leave my presence. Rat. Rat baby. I mean I didn't really need to use need to use surf now that I think about it, but whatever. That'll teach him a lesson. The lesson is don't get in my way when I'm trying to catch Pokemon. Nice try, Jiren. I already caught you. Get back in the box. I'm gonna ask you very kindly to run on back to the box. Jiren doesn't actually get EXP levels, by the way. Jiren just decides when he wants to show me his true power. That's it. Jiren, leave, man. Ain't nobody want to see you right now. Trying to test me. Be like, use me as your flying type. I'm like, no, shut up, leave. Nobody likes you. All right, I'm just leaving. It's very clear to me that there is nothing in this in this patch of grass, but I wanted to try it. All right, we off. I think there might be another patch of grass up ahead, so maybe I'll have better luck there. Hello, fat man, which chances are rock types. She'll be coming round Mount Silver when she comes. Mount Silver is in jo Jojo, right? Yes, sir. It is. But yeah, when that that one summer where we had no air conditioning, when it came time to like, when we had some money to buy an air conditioning, we were like, uh uh. What is like? What our dad's like? What do you want? And we're like, get us an air conditioning. Are you kidding me? It is so unbearably hot. We hated it so much, and then we got the most bitch in air conditioning in the world, which we no longer have because we don't have that house anymore. God damn it. Ah, life four four four. Life's a never-ending roller coaster. Just 
shitty situations and try and make the best out of the shitty hand that you've been dealt. Stop playing protect. I mean, to be fair, you know, since we've lived in this shitty house, in our shitty situation, um, my YouTube stuff has grown pretty big. I don't know if it's maybe I'm doing more of this stuff to distract me from the fact that I have to do it, but I'm doing better in YouTube doing this. Which is a shame, because if I had good internet, I would totally use it to switch to do uh, Twitch stuff. Stream a little bit here and there, invest in a better computer and stuff like that, because my computer's getting a little bit old in age. So, I definitely need a new one. Or I'd need an upgraded one at the very least, which I've talked to Captain Soldier 76 about to get a little bit better, but it's gonna be a while before I can do all that. Hiker Tim. I was too busy singing. I was over here pouring my life to you, and you, you gave me nothing. Just like life. Have you ever been to a picnic? They're so much fun. Let me guess, you're another uh, picnic person. Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Skip to my loom. My Darwin. Okay. Time to switch out. Bring in Nux. Hello, Nux. Yeah. Should be able to easily beat whatever the fuck this gi giant green thing is. Skip them's like a giant flower that flies. Which is, I believe, one of many Pokemon that are just based off of flowers. <laughs> so many grass types are just either, like, some kind of flower or some kind of insect that they found. Which I guess is supposed to go with the whole thing of Pokemon, which is about, um... Things you find, like, bad bug catching and stuff, but I don't know. I always found it really funny that in a game that was so inspired by bug catching, it took so long for any good po bug Pokemon to actually be made. And by good bug Pokemon, I should actually say good bug... Good bug Pokemon plus good bug moves. Because they're just, like, uh, pincer exists, obviously. But what moves do you teach a pincer? <laughs> Nothing good, let me tell you. I had one. The best move he learned was Slash. And that was barely a good move. Alright. Yeah, well, I mean, it was actually a very good move. But not in his hands, I think. Alright, that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. We're gonna get back home, I swear. Goodbye. <laughs>